Hello everyone, I'm going to introduce you the bottle top in dispenser made by D-Lab. Okay, this is the box. And this dispenser is uh, 1 to 10 ml, the capacity. Okay, the maximum is 10 ml. The minimum is 1 ml. There are many uh, different kinds, different uh, capacity for, for the dispenser. But today I'm, go I'm going to show you only this uh, 1 to 10 ml. Okay, others are the same. Only uh, the same design, same uh, manipulation, only the, the capacity difference. But when you know one kind, and you know all. Okay, so let me show you what's inside of this box. This is the the pipes. The pipe connected from the the dispenser reach to the bottle. Okay, this is the pipe. This is the dispenser itself. Okay. You can see the the volume marks from zero until ten microliter D lab and uh, this is the dispenser the the top and here is the connection to the the bottle okay this one is to cap the the cap of this uh, tip okay when we finish use it, we can cap it to protect the normal liquid drop out. Okay, this is the the tip. It hangs there. Very convenient. Okay, we put it here, and we have. These are the uh, adapters. Okay, adapters to different size of the the bottle. Okay, this is one. Okay, this is another one. This is the third one. Okay, the original design for this cap is uh, adapted to GL45. Okay, so normally the 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 Scott bottle can be used can be used here for GL45. This one is a kind of a spanner, okay? This is a Allen key, Allen key spanner. Okay, used to adjust. Let's put it on to try, okay? Here I have a one liter lab bottle with the GL45 cap, okay? GL45 cap. Normally on the cap itself, there's marks to show the uh, yes. You see, GL45 max 140 degrees. So say this is uh, uh, for the outclavable uh, bottle, and this the the size is for the cap is GL45. Okay, so we will try. We need to put on. The pipe, the pipe connection, and the bottom here. We connected it on, and then we reach to the the bottle. But apparently, this pipe is too long for for this bottle. Okay. You can see it's too long here so uh, we need to cut it until it fits to our our bottle okay even we can use other silicon pipes whatever the pipes to connect it depends on the availability of the pipes in your in your place 
you can choose okay so now uh, today I'm not going to cut because I don't have any liquid so I'm not going to cut I just want to show you how this thing going to work okay and now I will connect this bottle with the okay tidy it up okay now it is tightened it's just like this okay and from here we can try to set up the uh, the volume that we want okay now I'm going to show you how to use it okay this is the the bottle the dispenser and from here we can see the the volume can you see it okay I make it clear you can see it yeah one mil two mil four mil six mil eight mil and ten mil that's the lowest is one mil. This uh, dispenser, the capacity is one mil to ten mil only. Okay, so we can adjust adjust this button to whatever volume we want. Okay, let's say we want uh, full mil. Okay, it is full mil now. Then. Actually, when we we adjust it, we should just keep it on the table top. But just now, I want you to see clearly the how to manipulate. That's why I, I take it up. So now we we set up full mail, okay? And we're trying to manipulate. How to manipulate? How to dispense? Okay. Once we set up the volume, what we want, then we just pull up this one and push down fastly okay pull up push down pull up push down then the volume that we set will be dispensed from the pipe okay to whatever the container we prepared this is the basic how it is used and here this is the user manual okay there's many many details we can learn from it. Just now what I showed is the basic use. There, there's some of the uh, calibration, uh, volume checking to calculate the accuracy, standard deviation, troubleshooting, and some other uh, technical things all explained in this manual. So before you start to uh, manipulate you should read it clear uh, carefully for each of the dispenser it has a certificate it is it is a quality control certificate or you can call it the calibration certificate it it is uh, uh, according to the ISO okay there is a ISO certification and also the CE certification Alright, that's it. Thank you so much.